victim. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Everybody's yeah. rolling. Good. What can you tell us new uh, that we didn't know this morning? Well, I will say from this morning, we've actually learned that this, this shooting probably occurred in the daylight hours yesterday afternoon. Uh, our victim, Skylar Williams, was shot in the Spanish Ford area and ultimately his body was taken to the Major Creek area in Stockton. Can you walk us through perhaps how it all happened from Spanish Fort to the bridge in Stockton? I mean, kind of... Well, that's part of the investigation. I can't really go into all those details at this point just because it's so early. Uh, but at this point, we believe that our victim and another person were both... The other person wasn't actually shot, but they were shot at uh, both in the Spanish Fort area. The other victim, she was able to get away. Uh, Mr. Williams succumbed to his injuries and ultimately ended up uh, under the bridge there at Majors Creek. The relationship mm -hmm. with the home this morning where the search was going on, who lived there? How does that residence well, tie in? Well, there's certainly there's numerous people that live there on that street. We're not ready to release any of that information at this time, although I do believe that later on tonight we'll be able to officially charge someone with this. Did so did he die there at that Spanish fort and then his body taken and dumped? Well, or did so, certainly there's evidence that he was shot there where he actually died is may some still be in question, although uh, forensics may be able to close that gap a little bit for us. Skylar Williams, tell us about him as far as you know, as far as who well, he Well, the, the most recent address we had on him was Mott Road. Um, his, his family probably give you a much better background on him. He had been in our system before though. Um, and then the person, the person who actually found his body, do you know any of the circumstances? Of, Cause it's a, we've been out there, it's a hard place to find. Well, it, I mean, it's a bit odd to say the least. Uh, apparently the person who was newly back from the Texas area was out last night in a four wheel drive vehicle riding around dirt roads, happened upon the body drove back into Baymanette to their parents' house, at which time they contacted the Baymanette Police Department. Do you have any weapon? Was a, was a gun recovered? Um, is that part of what y'all had? Well, in the search warrants, I'll say we have recovered a gun, but I w I'm not saying that that's the, the weapon used in this case. Some but, folks in that area reported around 3.30, I think it was, uh, sounded like automatic gunfire, although the police say that they never got a report of any gunfire in that area. Well, certainly that's something anybody that believes they heard gunfire around 3.30, that's someone we want to talk to. We haven't been able to locate anyone that will say that today. You have one suspect now in custody in relation to this. We, we have one changed. person detained right now at this time related to this case. Initially, we contacted another person last night. They were detained, but they, they're being held on warrants from another agency. The, the home that you searched in Spanish for, does that belong to any one of your suspects or the victim? I don't know that it belongs to him, but we do know that he hangs out at that area. The, the victim suspect, or the suspect? The suspect. The suspect. Do you have a motive in this at all that you have settled on? Well, we think at this time it's probably drug related. Uh, that's something the investigation will have to, you know, proceed and, and dig into. But at this point, that's what it looks like. It doesn't look like it's a domestic issue or anything. And we obviously don't think it's random either. It's a little confusing, I guess. And, and you, I know you can't go into it in detail, but the, uh, the, the, the other victim is a, is a female and she was driving this vehicle? The, she, vehicle? she was with our uh, victim, Mr. Williams. Uh, at the Spanish Fort location. Uh, we believe shooting started and she was able to get in the vehicle and drive away. But so the shooting was... didn't happen in the vehicle. They were outside the vehicle when this occurred, you believe? Mm -hmm. Well, she narrowly I believe there. it happened both ways, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. So this means that the, if she was in that vehicle with Mr. Williams, and he was he was already injured or, or no, she was able to escape from? Well, certainly these are things that we're gonna look at in the investigation. Right now, we believe that she's gonna be a victim in the case. Certainly, hopefully later tonight, we'll be able to have the appropriate charges and de define this better for you. So she was able to, to take off by herself in her vehicle, is what you're saying? Or was Mr. Williams in that vehicle with her? Mr. Williams ended up under Majors Creek Bridge in, in Stockton. Mm -hmm. So she fled the area. Okay. okay. Did she ever report being shot at to you guys? Or how did you we, find we, out we, you had we, her? We, yes, we do have a report from her now that she was fired at. Yes. But she waited until she did not report this at the time, though. Is that This came later. She didn't report to the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office at this time, at that time, no. Okay. All right, All right thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so that's the latest on, sorry about that, uh, on the um, investigation into the homicide that we've been telling you about all day long. That was uh,
Colonel uh, Anthony Lowry with the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office. The Major Crimes Unit is taking over this case or has been uh, at, from the beginning taken this case and they are um, they were at a briefing this afternoon where they all the investigators came from the multiple scenes to to get um, all of their everybody get all their ducks in a row and compare notes and see who's got what we had reported earlier that two people were detained now you heard uh, Colonel Lowry say that one of those people are still involved in this homicide case the other person being held on unrelated charges from another agency so there is still one person that is uh, being held in uh, in custody has not been charged at this point and they hoped to have uh, formal charges filed in this case later tonight. We'll continue to follow this. We'll have the latest coming up live on WKRG News 5 at 5. Be sure and join us then.